We're broadcasting live from the Dirty South Dome in Atlanta, Georgia, where it's so humid you can drink the air. You know what? You can drink the air, Grim. I'll stick with my cough syrup and scotch with a beer chaser, thank you. While we're on this subject, anyone seen my air pain go or with me? The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Carolina Panzers battle the Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called the lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. for every yard. Call that about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Deadline ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third and four. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And that'll be second and eight to go. It's a glitterception. What's that, Grim? A oh, he just got crushed. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. It's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and six. And that pass is good for about five yards. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and eight to go. <laughs> 
Second down in a very lot. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Let me tell you, getting shot is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shack carpet for eight hours so I could shot my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. <laughs> the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. First down to seven. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked out? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Void rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. And he's off to the races. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. He's at the 30. The 20. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. Oh, 
And it's first and ten. Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell run for a yard. Second and three. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? First and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Pow! With the brain scrambler! It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course, wearing that moo moo. Is she going to dry clean that before she gives it back to me? Hot, hot one, hot two, hot think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. There is... Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> oh, away. The defense has to do a better job of watching out for that dirty trick. Second down and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. Third down and ten. Went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now.
Second down and a lot. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And that's another pick. And oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and mail. If he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? And it's first and ten. Play went nowhere fast. No game. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with ten yards on the play. And that'll bring up third and one. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot eight. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Hot eight. And the defense calls the Thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Gotta make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Third down and three. a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch? And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Third down and six. And the quarterback throws another pick. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down in a very lot. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease pin like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way.
Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Wow. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Britch's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah. And he was stuck to him like glue. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? At this rate, the QB's gonna have more interceptions than completions. And he finds open space, he's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. Ah, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean.
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. you fall it's how you get back up yeah in this particular case i'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline <laughs> the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit yeah but on the bright side win they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore uh, the funeral expenses that is And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And the coach said the offense was going to be explosive this week. He meant it literally. <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! And it's first and ten. drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he breaks away. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, still work on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah. Oh, you knew you were gonna see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. for nine on that play. Oh, no, no. The Deadland of Vultures win by forfeit today. Man, they destroyed their competition. They mutilated them, Cliff. They mutilated them. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. Or was it scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Damn, I 
Scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.